Hey guys, today I had to come check out a construction site for a project that I recently designed. This is a new office for a local custom home builder here in Austin, Matt Reisinger. He also runs an incredible YouTube channel called The Build Show. You guys have to go check it out. Amazing building science tips. He is an absolute pro. Today I wanted to show you kind of what we did here and why we did it. Behind me, well actually right here, we're standing in the reception area, so this is the entrance. This behind me is the most important focal wall of the space. So we decided to use a Delta Millworks material, a local company here in Austin. It is called Beetle Kill Pine. Now what I love about this is it's actually a material, the trees have been killed by a mountain pine beetle. And so they need to come down. A lot of these trees, I mean, this little beetle is basically the size of a grain of rice. You guys, it's responsible for killing millions of acres of, um, of trees. And so if it's either gonna come down and get burned or it's gonna come down and get reused to be something beautiful. So I like the sustainability factor of this material. Now I chose black because the Build Show, their branding, y'all, is all dark, rich, black colors. So when we think about design, I always start with who is my client, what is their brand, what is their vibe. So I really liked the idea of using black. Now it works well in here because there's a lot of sunlight. The reason I ran it vertically, a lot of times we see shiplap running horizontally. I ran this vertically for a very specific reason. That is because we have a 10 foot ceiling plate in here. It is a dropped grid ceiling, which is not really our favorite, but it makes sense to keep it in this scenario. It, by running the material vertically, we're able to make the room look taller just by running that, the lines. It's all about the lines of a material. So vertical works really well. Now I started it on an inside corner. You never ever ever want to run a material and end it on an outside corner. So watch, how, watch the line that I create here in the architecture. We start on an inside corner, we go all the way across the main reception wall. We wrap this corner on a miter joint. They used a black putty to, to make sure the joints are all nicely seamed. It goes all the way across. Now check out this. This is a hidden door with a pivot hinge. Y'all, how sick is this? You would never even know. This is where all the guys are gonna be working, project managers, accounting, all of those things. So that behind me is the office. This space is amazing, you guys. Goes across the, across the back wall. Now here is the conference room. Now look in there and see that I ended this material on another inside corner. Very important note, you guys. Never, ever end material on an outside corner. I said it twice because it's important. Now, the next material that I used was the ceiling. We used a select cypress finish, also from Delta Millworks. I love this material. It is um, harvested in the south, Mississippi, Alabama, Texas, Louisiana. You know, I didn't, I didn't want to change the actual raw beauty of this material, so we asked them to do a very, very light, um, smooth, matte finish, like a really light clear coat, so it looks really beautiful. It looks very raw. Now, on the ceiling, I think a lot of times people forget about the ceiling. This is their conference room where a lot of great, you know, important meetings are gonna happen, and this is an impression where they get to uh, meet clients and things, so the ceiling's very important. I didn't want to run the black on the ceiling because um, I liked the idea of the ceiling having a little bit more air and lightness to it, so the Select Cypress was perfect for that. Now let's talk about why I ran it the way I ran it. Now looking back to that, the back wall where the TV is going to go, again we have the vertical siding going across. For the ceiling, I wanted that line to carry up and across the room. When you're using a texture like this, you want to think about how are these materials going to complement each other. You don't want materials to fight against each other. So had I run it side to side, it just wouldn't have looked the same. By doing this, we make the room appear taller and appear wider. Now something, this is a major pro tip I'm about to give you guys. When you're thinking about designing and how to apply finishes and you know how, why, where, those things, you really want to think about how do the planes talk to each other and speak to each other. Let's go in to help me explain that better. We're in the conference room. Now, what do I mean by how do the planes react to each other? We've got the floor, which is a plane. We've got the ceiling, which is another plane. And we've got our walls. How are those creating this box and this beautiful image that you want? You guys, one trick of what I really like doing is taking a plane like a floor plane and taking a wall plane and making them the same feeling. This expands the room, makes it feel bigger. So down below, we exposed the concrete floor. We took up, there was a nasty like carpet and tons of glue and the guys worked really, really hard to get all of that cleaned up. 
This exposed concrete is beautiful. It's perfect for the brand of the Build Show and Reisinger's team. So we've got a, a exposed concrete floor. Now I wanted to carry that industrial texture up on the wall. So we don't have concrete in this, in this type of building, but we created this wall with a stucco, a three layer stucco finish and it really does look like concrete. I love the way this turned out, you guys. It adds texture and character into the room, creates a warmth to it and, it and it really goes well with the brand vibe. So there you have it, you guys. Beyond that, we have glass walls with a frameless glass system. Beautiful, we used hardware here to just really accent. You know, hardware can make a very, very bold statement. I like what this hardware says. This hardware says we mean business, you know? It's big, bold, and black, and, and very, it's very big. So I like that about it. This is an important moment when you walk into a conference room, the hardware. So up on the ceiling, we're gonna have three gray pendants. Uh, I think they're about 12 inch domes. They're gonna look really, really nice. I'm gonna have the Build logo here put on uh, the wall with one inch steel standoff letters. It's gonna look amazing. We'll have a TV here, and after that, this conference room is complete, you guys. I have one more thing I wanna show you. We actually ended up using this as the baseboard. Now, check this out. The material from Delta Millworks is a perfect addition for baseboard because, check this out, if you, if you remove the groove, this is a tongue and groove piece, if you remove the groove on the back, the tongue actually acts as a shadow line down here. Now, the guys cut into the drywall. Uh, I think they already finished this piece. Man, they're going fast. But this actually ends up recessing and becoming flush under here. It makes the perfect modern, clean baseboard. I like the idea of using this texture to bring the focal feature wall around the rest of the office where we just have drywall. This was a really nice detail to finish this space out. You guys, thanks for joining me today at the new Reisinger Home office and the Build Show. Please go check out their channel. See you next week. Thanks for joining. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you keep the content coming to you. Hope you're enjoying your time at home, and we'll see you next week.